Hello everyone, let's start with question number 6. So in this case we are given with 4x square plus 5 under root 2x minus 3 equals 0. So we need to factorize the term by factorization method or middle term split it. So in this case we have 4x square plus 5 under root 2x minus 3 equals 0. Now what we need to take is a and c. So a is 4 and c is 3. So 4 into 3 is well, now we need to split such that they make 5 under root 2. Now we know that 12 can be written as 6 and 2. So 6 and 2. Now you can see that the middle term is in terms of under root 2. So what we will do is we will write 2 as under root 2 and under root 2. Because it is equivalent to under root 2 into under root 2. So now we it is easy to make pair. That will be 6 under root 2 minus under root 2. It makes 5 under root 2. So it will be 4x square plus 6 under root 2x minus under root 2x minus 3 equals 0. Now what we will take common is from first two terms it will be 2x. And we are left with 2x and the other term will be 3 under root now from the second term, from the last two terms, sorry, it will be minus, minus 1 and we are left with under root 2x plus 3 equals 0. Now you can see that these two terms are not same. Now we need to make it same. Now what we can take common from the first bracket is we can take out under root 2. Why? Because we have 2x under root 2. Now 2x can be written as under root 2 and under root 2. So we are left with under root 2x plus 3 minus 1 under root 2x plus 3 equals 0. Now you can see that this term is equal to 0 and another one will be under root 2 2x minus 1 equals 0 and another is under root 2x plus 3 equal 0. So from the first term what we get is under root 2 2x equal 1 x equal 1 over 2 under root 2. So this is my alpha. The second is beta or you can write first x, x will be minus 3 under root 2. So beta is minus 3 under root 2 and my alpha is 1 over 2, 2 into under root 2. Now for verification what we will do is we will take sum of zeros that is alpha plus beta. Alpha is 1 over 2 under root 2 plus beta is minus 2 minus 3 over under root. Now taking LCM here we get is 2 under root 2 and what we need to do is we need to multiply the second term. So it will be minus 1 minus 6. So it will be minus 5 2 under root 2. Now to remove under root 2 from the bottom what we will do is we will multiply the term with under root 2 and under root 2 like we did in the last line. That is rationalization method. So it will be 2 under root 2 under root 2 is uh, it will be 2 only so, so it will be 4 and we have under root 2 at the numerator. So minus 5 over 4 under root 2. Now to verify this answer what we need to do is we need to take minus b over a. So minus b b is 5 under root 2, a is 4. Minus b over a, so minus b is 5 under root 2 and a is 4. So hence verified for sum. Now what we need to do is we need to find the product of alpha dot beta. So alpha is 2 under root 2 into beta. Beta is minus 3 under root 2. So it will be minus 3. 2 under root 2 under root 2 is 2 again. So 2 into 2 is 4. So minus 3 over 
4. Now we need to verify by c over a. So c is minus 3, a is 4. So it is equivalent as well. So c over a, c is minus 3, a is 4. So left hand side equals right hand side. So hence proved for question number 6.